Thanks for being here. You are the only people not protesting something right now. So, uh, thank you. A lot of protests going on uh, at the airports uh, over the, uh, all over the country, really, uh, because of the president's travel ban. At the airport in Los Angeles, there was chaos and confusion. Nobody could get in or out before the protests start. That, that was before. <laughs> If you haven't heard, this is what happened. Over the weekend, on Friday, the president gave an order banning people from seven countries from entering the United States, including people with green cards. And then on Saturday, the president screened Finding Dory at the White House. <laughs> I don't get political, but I will say that I am against one of those two things. Uh, I, like I said, I don't get political, so I'm not going to talk about the travel ban. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the very non-political, family-friendly, People's Choice Award-winning Finding Dory. <laughs> now, of course, Finding Dory is about a fish named Dory. And Dory lives in Australia. And these are her parents. And uh, they live in America. And I don't know what religion they are, but her dad sounds a little Jewish. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Dory arrives in America with her friends Marlon and Nemo. And uh, she ends up at the Marine Life Institute behind a large wall. And they all have to get over the wall. And you won't believe it, but that wall has almost no effect in keeping them out. <laughs> This is Becky. <laughs> She's not important, just a hilarious comedic element that makes a wonderful storytelling. Even though Dory gets into America, she ends up separated from her family. But the other animals help Dory, animals that don't even need her, animals that don't even have anything in common with her. They help her even though they're completely different colors, because that's what you do when you see someone in need. You help them. <laughs> So that is what I hope everyone who's watching Finding Dory has learned. Tune in next week uh, when I explain women's rights talking about the movie Mr. Wrong. <laughs> right now, let's dance.